Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, and I am a comedy musician, and this week I am going to be reacting to the brand new Tenacious D video, Don't Blow It Cage, a video they did while being quarantined and stay at home. Uh, this song uh, is not on any of their albums. They released... Actually, it seemed like this was two separate songs. They put out a vinyl uh, that had one side has Don't Blow It and the other side has Cage, but somehow it's all one song now, Don't Blow It Cage. I haven't gotten the vinyl yet. I don't know. I haven't heard it. So this song is still new to me, but I do know of the existence of the vinyl. So that's a thing or something. Whatever. Anyway, we're going to watch this video and I'm going to react to it because that's how this show works and I'm talking too much. Here we go. And they spelled Tenacious D wrong. There's no U. Tenacious D, featuring Jack White. Oh, it's on purpose, because it's Jack Black. Don't blow a cage, don't blow a cage. Just play the best shit you ever fucking played. Don't blow a cage, <laughs> don't blow a cage. Just play the best shit you ever fucking played. Oh. It's very typical Tenacious D. <laughs> Directed by Sammy Black, who's uh, Jack Black's son. Uh, and, uh... I don't know if you've seen the Quibi thing where they're recreating uh, Princess Bride, but he's in that playing Wesley in one of the sequences, and uh, clearly this is shot at his home, as was that. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm just... It, I love it. And I, I think they're lip-syncing to this, to the recording of it. They're not playing it live. I think. I can't tell. We're gonna find out. All right! Jack White invited us to party. He wanted us to kick out the jam. <laughs> Red light, it's time for us to party. I'm hoping we can kick out the jam. That's very cool. Don't blow it, cage. Don't blow it, cage. Just play the best shit you ever fucking played. Don't blow it, cage. Don't blow it, cage. Just play the best shit you ever fucking played. So Jack's beard. Let, let's talk about Jack's beard for a second here. Uh... That's not a quarantine beard. He had that before this. Their last album, Apocalyptico, I think that's how you pronounce it, Apocalyptico, uh, was, number one, it was weird as shit, and, uh, number two, uh, he had the giant beard going for that, and so did Cage. So did Rage Cage. So, uh, they've been going for this crazy old man hobo look, and, uh, there, that's what's what's going on with them. I love the dog shirt. I think it's a dog shirt or a cat shirt. Maybe it's a panther. I don't know. Kind of looks like a, a Rottweiler right now, but I can't really tell. And the superimposing of his face over his own face. You do what you can when you're staying at home, and have low budget. I know that because I do a lot of my own music videos like this. Music busy. I couldn't speak for just a second there. <laughs> it's catchy shit. Oh no. Of course he's gonna blow it. Wasn't bad. I I could not play that. That sucked. You did not fucking party. You did not fucking kick out the jam. <laughs> Jack White is drinking a Bacardi. You did not fucking kick out the jams. You blew a cage. You blew a cage. You paid the worst shit you've ever fucking paid. You blew a cage. You blew a cage. You paid the worst shit you've ever fucking paid. At least Cage has cut his beard down. Uh, yeah, if, if you listen to Apocalyptico, it's... Number one, it's a concept album that is also a rock opera. Uh, and they did an entire animated movie about it, and, like, they released it as chunks, and then you watch the whole thing together, but, like, it was, like, episodes that built the whole movie, and it's all animated, but it's all animated by Jack Black, who is not an animator, so it's, everything changes proportions and everything's weird. It's, it's definitely unique, and it's the first time anybody's, uh, really tried to do that kind of thing by themselves, and I applaud them for that. I don't know how well it worked for some people. I know some Tenacious D fans who weren't, weren't really into it. Uh, I still watched it uh, every week because I'm a Tenacious D fan, as it is. Uh, and I, ex I 
respect it for what they were trying. I, I don't know how much it connected to me. However, this song goes back to the classic Tenacious D sound that they had in the HBO series and on their first album. I'm really digging it. It I, I'm really digging it. it. It's got a good rhythm to it. It's got a good flow to it. The lyrics are great. And, I mean, it may be obvious that, yes, Cage was going to blow it, but still the, the lyrics and how Jack is reacting to him blowing it is... It's great. It's it obviously I'm laughing at it, so I'm digging it. Come on. Cage, Cage. Yes, Jack White? That was the best guitar solo I've ever heard in my life. Oh, thank you. Do you want to start a band with me right now? <gasps> yes. Now, oh, don't leave me, Cage. Don't leave me, Cage. <laughs> you played the best shit you've ever fucking played. Don't leave me, Cage. Don't leave me, Cage. You played the best shit you've ever fucking played. You played the best shit you've ever fucking played. You played the best shit you've ever fucking played. You played the best shit you've ever fucking played. Oh, that was perfect. So, in the opening of the video, I thought it said featuring Jack White as a joke. No, Jack White was actually in the song. Shows you what I know. Uh, but they couldn't get him in the video, so they just put a still image of him and moved it upside up and down to, to get him to talk. That was great. That was awesome. Uh, man. I, I mean, I love Tenacious D. How can you not? They're pretty great. They're, you know, it's... Metal played on two acoustic guitars. That was their whole thing. That was the whole gimmick for them. And also the fact that uh, Jack Black has an amazing set of pipes that nobody expects. And uh, Rage Cage, uh, Kyle Gass, is a an ex exceptional guitarist. And uh, I love that band. I love Tenacious D. I think they're great. I think that song was awesome. Uh, nice and short and to the point. I like that. It's a quick one this week. Not much to really talk about in that video because it was very low budget, but I like the way they did it. I like how they shot it at home separately from each other, but still had the conversation between the two of them as if they were playing a big show in their living rooms. I dig it, and uh, I should go out and get that vinyl of this song because it's, it's pretty rocking. Obviously, they were lip-syncing it uh, because they had the Jack White uh, snippet of speech in there. Uh, yeah, no, it's rockin'. It's great. I loved it. If you want to check out the video uh, without me talking all over it and giving my reaction to it, check out the link in the description below. If you like what I do here, please give me a like, maybe a subscribe, a uh, thumbs up, all that stuff. Leave a comment for some comedy songs that you think I might like watching, just in case I haven't seen it, because I have seen a lot of comedy music videos. Uh, also, hey, speaking of comedy music, I should plug that the Logan Whitehurst Memorial Awards for Excellence in Comedy Music, aka the Logan Awards, which are the Comedy Music Awards, are being held on August 29th as part of FumpFest at Home. FumpFest is a comedy music festival usually held here in Chicago every year, but obviously because of things going on right now, we're not doing it live. We're not, we're not doing it with people in the same building. We're doing it streaming online on Twitch, on Facebook, and on YouTube, on the channels for The Fump, which is the Funny Music Project, hence why it's Fump Fest. Anyway, the award show will be held as part of that event, uh, and I'm the chairman of said event, and actually, uh, a lot of my friends have songs nominated. That's all available on loganawards.com, or you can check out the details at fumpfest.com. Links for those will be in the description as well, if you like comedy music. Uh, if you like what I do here, please subscribe to that. Check out all the other stuff, too. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. What